turning us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world. This is Arise News Analyst, Emmanuel Efeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, Ruben. Good morning, Ayo. Good morning, sir. Yes, let's start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The history immediately chronicles gains of cashless policy. As wages lawmakers' concerns, says currency redesign will curb inflation. Banditry strengthen the Naira, declares cashless policy not targeted at politicians or intended to disenfranchise Nigerians' businesses. Insist is in public interest to promote efficient payment system. Cost of currency management hits 47.25 trillion billion naira in 10 months. Again, CSOs protest in Abuja, caution DSS, maintain Apex Bank's governor, not terrorist. Yes, of course, the central bank yesterday um, represent the central bank governor represented at the House of Representatives stated the gains, the benefits of this currency uh, redesign, which um, many politicians uh, felt threatened. And of course, with the movement upwards on the catch uh, withdrawal limit, perhaps politicians will be more comfortable with the figures. But other newspapers are reporting this story, other aspects of this story. CBN, Nigerian Tribune reporting CBN shed light on cashless policy, Why um, the Punch newspaper, cash limits not anti-people, CBN insists, reps knock immediately. Now, if we just come back to this day, Above the masthead, above the masthead, NPAN, that's the Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria, Nigerian Guild of Editors, NUJ, others, slam misrepresentation of Arise This Day, APC, PCC, Peace Meeting. Yes, says NPO, not Arise This Day, owner initiated peace meeting. This day, or bike never sought any meeting, but honored invitation by Oshoba, Amoka, other media um, leaders. Of course, the meeting took place on Sunday, although I was out of town. The managing director of uh, this day, Eniola Bello, immediately brought me up to speed. And of course, we had to disseminate information accordingly. So it was surprising to see yesterday a false narrative being paraded uh, in social media by some groups, but they know what they want to uh, instigate. But this is a true story. Uh, media leaders uh, like Sam Amoka, publisher of Vanguard, um, media, of course, former governor, Olusha Basanjo, uh, or, or, uh, Oshoba, always a journalist. Um, of course, they initiated that meeting and it was honored and decisions taken for all sides to shit their sword, as it were. So we just move on to other stories. Daily Sun newspaper, PDP, APC fight over alleged plot to scuttle 2023 uh, polls. Disagree on competency of presidential candidates. Now we just look at the New Telegraph uh, newspaper. No, before that, um, yes, the New Telegraph reporting presidential errors store passage of 2023 budget. Yes, when the Senate president spoke about the passage of the bill that would take place yesterday, he did so with so much confidence a couple of days ago. So it was surprising that they are still talking about errors, uh, stalling the passage. It will now take another one week, December 28th. That is when the Senate is likely to pass the appropriation bill, as it were. Now, the Guardian newspaper also reporting that story. Lawmakers' constituency project delayed 2023 budget, a budget, another uh, perspective on the failure of the National Assembly to pass the budget yesterday. Uh, Senate fixes December 28 for passage of appropriation bill. Now, the story 
Business Day newspaper, the story Rotus and others, including Ruben, talking about cost of Christmas meal in Nigeria rises by 28%. Prices of rice, chicken, cooking gas, others saw. Well, for those who celebrate, who have to keep or save for this period, perhaps now is the time to bring out your savings and celebrate. For those of us who don't even bother to celebrate, life goes on as usual. But Ruben, people are traveling. You know, for those of us who still find courage to travel by road, we know people are traveling, Ruben. And uh, of course, don't forget that I, I also live on that axis, the road out of Lagos, outbound Lagos, field traffic, heavy one. People are traveling, I can tell you that. Perhaps they're paying exorbitant uh, uh, transport fare, but people are traveling. Maybe not as in previous years, but people are still traveling. Now, the following news was quickly. The Times of London. Got cough or cold? Stay away from grandparents. Yes, because of the high rate. Of course, they're having the highest number of hospital hospitalization on flu. So the advisory is that if you have cold, or cough, please stay away from grandparents. You know, as this, since uh, this, uh, of course, this has been a familiar advisory since uh, restrictions uh, over COVID-19 pandemic. Now, the Guardian newspaper number 10 threatens to block Scottish law on legally changing, legally changing gender. Of course, the warning hours after the Scottish Parliament uh, passed the bill on, uh, on uh, gender identification. Yes, that 16 to 18 years cannot have that, uh, can be considered for gender changing certificate. The parliament is saying that they are going to block that uh, law so that it doesn't get royal assent. Ruben and Ayo. Over to you. Okay, two quick things. I think the bigger story, um, apart from this uh, issue with regard to uh, Sturgeon's uh, gender law, yeah. as it is otherwise called, and what the, uh, you know, uh, the government in the UK is saying is that uh, they will do everything possible to block royal assent. So it's not yet law yet, uh, but uh, Nicola St uh, Sturgeon is saying that she will do everything uh, to resist it. So it's between the Scottish National Party, the SNP, and then, you know, the government of the UK. But we'll see how that plays out. And if uh, Scotland succeeds with it, it will be the first country in the union uh, to do that. And it, they are saying in Scotland that this is a triumph for human rights. But we'll see how it plays out. But what is even more interesting, in my view, is the fact that the Bristol O2 Academy, where there was an incident last week, Thursday, during the performance by Ashake, okay. the Lambert uh, uh, councillors had taken a decision to suspend operations there. Uh, in fact, what the Metropolitan Police wanted was for the uh, hall to be shut down. Because, according to the Metropolitan Police, because we discussed this subject on this program about how the police were conducting investigations, that there was a similar incident, although nobody died, in 2020 during a performance by Naira Mali. Uh, you know, but nobody is blaming Nigerians, so they're blaming the structure itself, that the doors are not strong enough, and that, you know, now, going forward, that, uh, uh, you know, event center has to be shut down. And what it means is that between now and January uh, 16, uh, many of the events scheduled for that uh, venue will, will be canceled. The other story uh, that should be of interest is the fact that the border patrol is going on strike. Flights will be disrupted. Now, if you go to England, you are not likely to meet those people who check their passports. They are bringing in civil servants and bringing in uh, uh, soldiers. These soldiers in the UK, as the head of the army said, you know, they have been overstretched. They have been drafted into all kinds of things. Okay. They are driving ambulances. Now they are going to be checking passports at the uh, airport. We hope, you know, that the authorities in the UK would consider the hardship because rail workers are going on strike, nurses are on strike, everybody's on strike. Yeah, yeah. How, how many soldiers are they going to uh, draft. You know, draft into different uh, uh, areas?
Absolutely. Hello. Just, um, I mean, just talking about the realities coming from a conversation around how uh, Christmas is here in Nigeria and looking at the effect in the UK, you know, with the winter of discontent, as it's now been infamously called. Quite unfortunate, um, as um, Dr. Abati mentioned, that perhaps it's time for Rishi Sunak, the UK Prime Minister, and the government, you know, to, to capitulate and have conversations just so that they put the people at the fore, you know, those who have worsted. it. And that takes me back to the other headline on not you know staying away from your old age yes, parents if, if you, you have, have a cold. cold. Yeah, because again, beyond they're that is also the yeah, they're the vulnerable. vulnerable population. Um, the, the, there's a rise in older people accessing care in the UK, especially in winter months. And then now that we have strikes, they are trying to reduce the number of people who are accessing services of the NHS at this time. So very important. What I must point out is that the important thing about in the government is that these are the kind of conversations we want you to have with your citizens beyond just policy and you know announcements we also want you to show that in terms of welfare and uh, you know what would reduce the burden on your health care you're not looking at the effect you're looking at both cause and effect very important thank you so much Mr. Feni yeah thank you